Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I'm making another camouflage soap. I did a different shades of green and brown last time. This time I'm going to use some gray and black and white, maybe a couple shades of gray. So I have satin gray pillowcase from Mad Micah's. I also mixed up some um, matte black oxide pigment which makes a mess. I can't stand using black because it just gets everywhere when I try to mix it up. And I also have some white. And the fragrance is, my thing went off here. It is a cultural, a spicy cultural blend, blend of crushed cloves, cinnamon sticks, patchouli, and crisp pine needles with sweet orange freshness. This is the same fragrance I used for the other camouflage soap that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my lye solution. I add it down the stick blender so that it doesn't um, get a bunch of air bubbles.
go ahead and cut Manly Man. And I was excited when I cut it because you can tell it's going to be a really good camouflage, which was what I was going for. And it is a really nice scent. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really like it. It's kind of spicy. But the more I've used it, uh, the more I like it. And my husband said, you know, um, I'll take that whole loaf if you want. And I said, I'll order more of the scent and make you a loaf because um, he loves it. So I'm going to go. I like the top, too. I was debating because you could tell by the top that it looked kind of camouflage before I did the spoon on top, but I can't help myself. So I already cut the first log. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And I think it looks just like a camouflage pattern. Now I looked up camouflage patterns because I wanted to do something a little different than the green one that I did. And of course there's blue and pink and purple and all that. So I may do like a I don't know what you would call it. I may do a camouflage um, series where I do different color camouflage. And the only reason this is named Manly Man, because obviously this represents, you know, the military and women are in the military. So when I, it, it's the normal name of my soap with this fragrance and I just happened to do a camouflage pattern last time and then I thought, I hope I didn't offend anybody where they think, oh, she just thinks, you know, the military is for men. Um, but it's just happened to be the pattern for this um, particular scent. So um, I haven't been on here in a while, so I'm excited to talk to you guys again. Um, as you know, in my ducktail stories, the eggs out front hatched, nine of the ten. And those little buggers were just so excited to leave that nest. So they actually left the nest the very next day and then I didn't see them for like, oh my gosh, I want to say like two or three weeks maybe if it's been that long. I didn't see them. They just disappeared and I was heartbroken. But then we have another mom out there and one of the ducks that would come visit us since we've lived here was a female and she had the cutest little uh, little noise she made, um, almost like a little baby noise, and she was the only one that did that. So that's the one that's here, and she has, she started out with six. She has three now, and she comes every day, and we give her a little bit of, um, her and her babies some bird seed, and at first it was accident. I have a bird feeder out there, and some of it fell out of the bird feeder, and then I noticed a little hole just because it thickened. A little air bubble. Um, I noticed that they were eating it like crazy. So um, they come every morning and every night, this mom and her three ducklings. And I'm so happy because they're getting bigger. So I'm hoping getting bigger means they'll survive, have a better chance. Um, so they come every morning and night and visit us. And then the mom from out front, she's back, and she had nine babies, and now she has five. And they're still really tiny, um, and the males are still pretty aggressive around them. So we kind of go out with a broom and scare the males off sometimes because they go after the ducklings. Um, so that's what's going on. I do have a couple videos and pictures of them because they're literally on our patio and that mom the one mom is just making her tiny little baby noise it is so cute so i'll try to post a video on my facebook or at least a picture so you guys can see them last one thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you all in the next video